In response to this second national lockdown that the governments have imposed, I'm very pleased that the Archbishops of Canterbury and York have called on us to make the next month a month of prayer. Prayer is not the only thing that we can do during this time as Christians, but it is the essential beginning of our response to whatever we face in this world. So join with me now, if you would, and let's pray together. Heavenly Father, our ever-present help in trouble, our fortress and our God, calm the anxious fears of all who turn to you, give strength and healing to those who are sick and courage and skill to those who care for them. Grant wisdom and clarity to those in authority and humble us all to call upon you that we may be saved not only in this life, but also for that which is to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A collect for those who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Lord Jesus, who offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death and was heard because of his reverent submission. Have mercy on all those that we now name and all those who live in the shadow of this terrible virus, that they may have strength for the struggle and hope for the future. And in the midst of the heat and urgency of their condition, grant their thirsty souls true repentance for their sins, that they may know forgiveness and eternal life in you. Amen. A collect for those grieving in isolation. Gracious Heavenly Father, who knows our grief is the price we pay for love, give gospel comforts and consolation to those who feel the pain of bereavement and the anguish of separation at this time of global crisis. And reminded as we are of the fleeting frailty of this life, teach each one of us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. For we ask in the name of your Son, who was cut off from the land of the living, to rescue us from the present evil age. Amen. A collect for those dying alone. Sovereign Lord, our rock and our salvation, who has promised never to leave nor forsake those who put their trust in you. Hear the feeble sighs and groaning of those now fighting their final battle without their loved ones by their side. By your Spirit, grant them grace and strength to endure what they must. And having put their faith in Christ, may their eyes see at last the Redeemer, for whom our hearts have always yearned, so that along with all those who love the Lord Jesus with an undying love, they may receive the crown of righteousness from him on the day we meet again. Amen. A prayer for grace and mercy. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, the healer of nations and judge of all, give us grace to humble ourselves under your mighty hand throughout this time of anxiety and discomfort. In your anger, remember mercy, not giving us all we deserve for our many sins, but strengthening us to repent and recover from all we must endure. For we ask in the name of our precious Saviour, Jesus Christ, who bore our sicknesses and carried our sorrows, that we might experience new life in the Spirit. Amen. A prayer for our spiritual health. Eternal and loving Lord, teach us to remember that life is short and to seek after heavenly wisdom. Grant that though our bodies grow weak, we may increase in spiritual strength, 
so that trusting ourselves to your care and mercy, we may accept your will and at the last enter into the joy of your eternal kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And finally, a prayer for repentance and faith. Loving Heavenly Father, at this time of great uncertainty in our country and around the world, we pray that people would turn to you for stability and comfort. We pray particularly for those who don't yet know Jesus, that through some means in the midst of all that is happening, they would hear the good news of him. Grant them repentance and a knowledge of the truth that they may know you and the secure joy of eternal life in him. For we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And so may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip us with everything good that we may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.